Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. So recently a YouTuber by the name of Nope Name had made a video called Minecraft GPS where he basically what he does is he gets an entity and turns its position into a scoreboard variable. So uh, I was reading the comments and one guy asked whether it was possible to do the reverse. So to run a uh, run, run a command at a certain point uh, indicated by a scoreboard variable. And Nono himself said, this might be quite complex, but I thought, wait, I think it's possible, I think I can do this. So this is where we end up here, and yeah, I've got this function that will summon a firework at the coordinates uh, written on the right. So if you look on the right there, I've, I've got three coordinates, x, y, and z, and these correspond to this position right here, exactly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command here, function main set pause, and it's going to summon a firework there. Alright, so that's it. Just kidding. I'm going to show you how, um, if I change the scoreboard, it's actually going to change the thing. So I'm not just summoning a firework here. That'd be pretty lame. Alright, so let's say we want to summon the firework here. Alright, so in the plus x, this is plus 2. And since this is positive z, we subtract 1 from the z. So I've got a set of fun uh, command blocks here, which will change it. For me, so we're gonna move it plus two in the x direction, so this becomes two one four six, and we're gonna move it minus one in the z direction, so this becomes four one nineteen. So I'm gonna press it, and as you can see on the right, the scoreboard has updated. So now when I run this command, it's gonna summon a firework there instead. So yeah. So how does this work? So basically, I've implemented a binary search in order to quickly search for, uh, to quickly move an armor stand from the edge of the world to the player. So this is the Minecraft world here. This is the world border at minus 30 million. And this is the world border at 30 million. This is where we want the armor stand to move. So how are we going to do this? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to move this armor, we're going to summon this armor stand at the edge of the world first. And then we're going to move the armor stand the highest power of two possible without overshooting the player. How am I going to do that? So first, I have this player, it has the, I have the x coordinates in the scoreboard, and this x coordinate is from minus 30 million to 30 million. Now, I don't want that, I want my score to be from 0 to 60 million to represent how much I need to teleport this armor stand this way, right? So if I want to teleport the armor stand here, that's to 30 million, teleport it there, that's to 60 million. So I'll just add 30 million to the uh, x coordinate, coordinate in the scoreboard and I call this scoreboard variable xx so it's like a dummy dummy xx right so I've got this um, armor stand here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport it the highest number of power of two highest power of two possible without like overshooting the edge or without overshooting this player so what's that going to look like so from my notes the highest power of 2 that's smaller than 60 million is 33554432. So, basically I'm going to teleport my armor stand, that amount, let's say it's here, right? And then I'm going to subtract that score from my XX score, right? Which represents how much I've moved, how much I still need to move. So now that I've moved that amount, right, um, I'm going to go to the next highest power of 2 which in this case is 16777216. So um, let's say that moves my armor stand here. I've gone past the position. Now I don't really want that, right? But what I'll do is I'll check the XX score and I'll notice that once I've subtracted that amount, I have gone past my target, right? I don't need to actually teleport past the, because the amount I teleport is bigger than my XX score. So I don't need to actually teleport, so I won't do that. Let's say the next one is um, 8388608, blah blah blah, and I'll keep going and I'll keep getting closer, sometimes I'll teleport, sometimes I won't teleport, until eventually I get to the player, or I'll get to the position that I need to be. So yeah, that's for one, corner, uh, one axis, I'll do it for all three axes until it reaches the player. So how fast does that take? So, alright. Normally, if you were to just like run a teleport command, go like da -da 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 -da, all the way through, take 60 million commands, that's pretty long, pretty inefficient. But what 
binary search allows you to do is it takes order log n times. So this will take log 2 of 60 million to reach here, worst case. And that turns out to be about 25, which is, isn't really that much. Like if you just think about 25 command blocks, that's not that much at all. So um, yeah, it's a really efficient way to get to the player very fast. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Um, I'll leave a link to Note Names video to and also to the uh, function commands that uh, so you can put it into your own world and mess around with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.